What are GMOs? A GMO is a genetically modified organism. So it's basically a laboratory process taking a specific species genes and inserting into another to create or obtain a certain characteristic or trait. So for example, taking a pig's gene and putting it into a tomato or an apple. What the f So I have two pairs in my hand, one's GMO, one's organic. So how do we know? Well, most people don't because it's not mandatory to be labeled GMO in the US, but it is in China and France and South Korea and Brazil and in India. What the hell is going on? So I could be eating Franken foods made in a laboratory and have no idea? Yeah. So what foods are GMO in the US? So most of the soy, 94% of soy in the US are GMO. Uh, cotton is 90% GMO. Canola is 90% GMO. Sugar beets, 95%. Corn, 88%. Papayas are 50%. And zucchini and yellow squashes. So what are some potential dangers in eating GMO foods, you may ask? Well, in a recent French study, it showed that lab rats fed a lifetime of GMO corn develop tumors and serious health risks including immune problem, accelerated aging, insulin problems, and changes in major organ and gastrointestinal system. I don't know about you, but I don't want no tumors. So the American Academy of Environmental Medicine has shown that the genetically modified foods while eaten into a human body can actually leave material and toxic waste. So the insecticides that are inserted into certain genes of the GMO foods can actually be eating up our bodies and creating allergies and different inflammation. No! No worries, it's never too late to reclaim ourselves and empower ourselves to take positive action to avoid GMO. Watch part two to see how to avoid GMOs. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Thanks, lots of love.